Hello everyone, in this video we will see how to easily create this poster that you can see in here using Adobe Photoshop. But before we're gonna do that, make sure to subscribe and comment and leave a like. Alright, so let's get to it. Alright, so let's go and open Photoshop and then let's create a new pile by going to File New and I'm gonna put 3000 pixels for the width and 4000 for the height. I will keep everything in here set the same and our piece okay. Alright, now we'll go to my file and open the image I will be using. So we'll just drag it and open it in here. Alright, now if you have a, a portrait of the face, you don't have to make your image bigger, but for this image, I think I would make it bigger to fit the canvas. And I want it to be aligned just somewhere like this. Let's see. Maybe a little bit bigger from this side. And a little bit in here. Yeah, I think something like this. And then we're going to put our text on the right in here. But let's see. We can always go back and adjust this if we want. But for now, I'm just going to leave it like this. All right. Now we'll go to my text tool. And by the way, make sure that you have vertical type tool in here selected because that's what we are going to use. And the font I will be using is called Source Sans Pro. It's a free Adobe font. I will make sure to put a, li a link where you can get it and install it. All right. Now I'm just going to one click and type something. For example, let's say style. And let me make everything caps. Style like that. And I will take it and put it just right here. I think I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna press Ctrl Command T and I will make this bigger so it will look a little bit more like bold. Now, maybe I think I'm gonna press Alt or Option on my keyboard and I'm gonna not actually I need to press the Shift key and I will make it a little bit wider from the width. This is really not recommended to do, by the way because it will make our text look out of proportion. But if we don't overdo it, I think we can get away with it. Something like this, because I want to include a bit of the hair in here. So let's keep it like this for now. And I will want to click on this check mark. And then I will go back to my uh, the model image in here. And I will try to modify the placement of the image maybe I will make it a little bit smaller and I will push this a little bit to the right maybe something like that I think it will be fine something like this all right I think I'm happy with this all right so this is a very easy effect to do or a very easy poster to make just need to do some clipping mask and things like that and maybe apply layer styles but yeah let's go and do it so now uh, the thing that we want is this to be clipped to the, our image and also we're gonna make a copy of the model image and put it on top and to do that you can either um, click on your alt or option key and while you are selecting the, the model layer I'm clicking on alt or option and I will drag and this will make a copy and the other way is you can just press Ctrl Command J while you are selecting the model layer and this will duplicate it and you can just drag it and put it on top. And now while we are selecting the model image or the model layer, I'm just going to press Alt or Option and I will go between the text that we have in here and the layer of the model. And when I do that, as you can see, uh, the cursor changed to this uh, down arrow in here and then I will just one click and it will clip it. Now you can see it because we have this down, but if I hide it, you can see this is our image clipped to the text itself in here. All right, uh, now we want it to be shown. So to do that, we need to create a layer mask and delete a little bit from this side in here. So I'm just gonna create, create a layer mask first, and then I will go to the 
rectangle or marquee tool in here and maybe I will go somewhere right here and I will create this rectangle mask and I will delete it using alt or option backspace and this way we can delete this part in here and as you can see now if you're not happy with what you see in here maybe you want to include a little bit more of the image you can just go back to the layer mask that you created and make sure to unlink this uh, link chain that you can see in here so with one click on it and you can unlink it and then while i'm selecting the layer mask i'm gonna press ctrl command t to enter the transform mode and then zoom in and again i'm gonna press shift and i can just include this part in here i think it will look better or maybe i will maybe i will keep it like that and then i will move the text instead yeah i think i will move the text instead and i will one click on this check mark and i will go back to my text layer in here and by pressing ctrl command t i can move the text to be inside like that something like this i think i like it better like this and i will one click on this check mark all right now if you're not happy with the white color in here you can easily change that by going to the background because we'll have it white if i hide it you can see the transparent box in here you can just change this to whatever color you want or you can go to this adjustment and choose solid color you can keep it black if you want change it to pink maybe sample an image a uh, color from the image itself maybe make it desaturated but for me i like it white i think it gives it more charm like that and i will one click on ok all right now we need to do some adjustments or some effects to the text to uh, look complete from the side so to do that you can just select the text layer and after that go to this fx icon and choose blending options and the only thing that we are going to do here is to check the stroke option in here as you can see i have the size set to 10 pixel 100 percent opacity and in the position i make it to inside and uh, this will depend on uh, the resolution of your image maybe you can you need to put less pixels for the size or even more this depends on the resolution if you remember we have like 3000 by 4000 pixel so that's why 10 pixels for me i think it looks good maybe i can even put it like around 12. all right and i will press ok now again if you're not happy with the position of uh, the text you can just go and change it by changing to the move tool and you can change your text placement for me i think i like it here because i like that the hair is included and the part of the suit everything looks good maybe i will just put it a little bit to the side like that all right i think i it looks nice all right the other thing that i want to add is i want to blur this part uh, of uh, the image that we have in the text and to do that you're gonna go go to the model image that we have clipped in the text itself and then while i'm selecting it i will go to filter and i will choose blur gaussian blur and i will keep the radius set to five and i will press ok and as you can see we have it already as a smart object so that's why it's be easier to apply it as a blur filter all right next we're gonna add some shapes so to do that i will go to the ellipse of the vector in here and i will go and start adding some circles so i will add the first circle in here while i'm clicking shift on my keyboard to keep it perfectly and then I will make sure that the stroke is none and the filling is set to white all right after that i will click shift again to add uh, another shape to the same layer in here because i don't like to have a lot of layer of the vector so i'm while i'm pressing shift you can see this plus icon so while i'm pressing shift i can add another small circle this time 
then I will go here, maybe add another one in here, a bit bigger in here, and maybe another one right here, and another one in here, and maybe another one in here, another one that's right here, maybe another one in here. All right, now let's add some some rectangles or maybe some lines. So let's see, let's go to rectangles in here and add some very thin lines, just like that. So again, I will make sure to press shift to add. And if you don't like the placement of some of them, you can just press in control command and select everything and move it to, for example, here, maybe even here. You can make a copy by pressing Ctrl Alt or Command Alt, and this will create a copy of the same shape that we have, and then maybe place it. Then this is just a demonstration. You can create your own. I don't like this one in here, so I'm just gonna move it Maybe in here, maybe even I will make it smaller, something like that. And maybe make it vertical. Make sure that I'm selecting this part in here. Then make it like this, vertical. All right, I think it looks fine. All right, now let's add a little bit of text in this in this place in here, or maybe another one in here. All right, so let's go and select the text and let's make the size a little bit smaller, maybe 200. And let's add magazine name or something, make it even smaller. And let's add some normal text in this part. Okay. Now we're gonna make it like this and put it even smaller like that and place it in here maybe drop down the opacity all right this one that changed the color to something more like like this okay All right, now we'll go to this shape layers and I will select them both and I will drop down the opacity a little bit. All right, I think it looks nice. All right, so the final thing that I want to add is a little bit of adjustment of the colors. I will go to my adjustment and choose level adjustment and I will go play with the channels this and also the blue one and I will go to the RGB maybe make a little bit of contrast to the image something like that and I think that will be all so let's see the before and after so this is before I mean, this is before without the layer mask, and this is after. All right, so I hope that you enjoy and you like this uh, quick tutorial, and it was a little bit helpful for you. If you tried this, make sure to let me know on Instagram, Facebook, wherever, and don't forget to subscribe and comment, and you know, have a nice day. Thank you for watching.